Sometimes in Articulate Storyline, you might have situations where you have multiple objects that you want to display in a hover state together. Like in this example, I've got this picture on my slide, and when I hover over it, it shows the full color version of it. And similarly, down here in the title bar, this little rectangle that I drew, this one has a hover state too. But what I really want here is for both of the items to show in their hover state when I hover over either one of them. It's actually really easy to do this. I'd like to show you how. So first thing is that you'll want to set up a hover state for each of your objects. So here I've got my picture and down here in the states panel you can see I've got a normal state but I also added this hover state. It's really easy to do that. You just select your object on the slide like I've done and then you click edit states and then click this new state button and then from this drop down you'll be able to choose hover as your state and then once you've created your hover state you just modify that item in its hover state to tell Storyline what you want the item to look like when the learner hovers over that object. And the same goes for this little rectangle that I drew as well. This one has a normal state and I added this hover state. And the only change here was that I changed the color of the text. Well, all I need to do to make these behave together as a unit is I just need to select them all and then do a control G to group them. And now if I preview or publish, we should see that whether I hover over the picture or the rectangle, both of them are going to show their hover state regardless of which item I hover over. So it's kind of a neat technique, especially for things like menu items or any situation where you really want multiple items to behave together as a group.